I got my hands on the Roaring Moon and the Iron Valiant ETBs for Paradox Rift. Let's get these bad boys open. I'm just cracking packs. For those of you who've never been to my channel, welcome for the first time. And those of you who've been here, welcome back. Don't forget to drop a like and a follow if you haven't done it, done it already. It goes a long way for the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but only if you like the stuff. Anyway, let's get started as I'm kind of cleaning up a little bit. So, in this, um, you get, of course, with the ETBs, you get your beautiful dividers. Of course, you get your brick of energies. You get your sleeves. Those are the Roaring Moon ones. Here's the code card for Roaring Moon, ETB, put that there. Here are the Iron, Iron Valiant sleeves, beautiful looking sleeves. I like both of these sleeves, by the way. Of course, you get your brick, you get, these are the Iron Valiant dividers right there. As I'm dropping stuff, trying to kind of keep things moving. And of course, you get, you know, some semblance of dice and status counters. Other than that, nothing too crazy. Get your ETB boxes. Good stuff. Now, here is the code card for the Iron Valiant ETB. And most importantly, here are the two code card. Here are the two promos. So you get a beautiful scream tail. And you get a beautiful iron bundle. So nice looking cards. And of course, you get nine packs per box now we're gonna do a quick kind of slide through here um most of you guys have probably already seen these there's some beautiful cards in here you got tons and tons of ex cards in this i mean there's a mewtwo ex right there if you see it but the coolest thing about this set they're gonna have over 84 84 secret rares or better so that includes all of these Trainer gal or not trainer galleries, these illustrator rares. You have, I mean, that Yveltal is probably one of my chases. You have the Steelix that's somewhere around here, which looks really cool to grout on. Look at that. I mean, you just got some beautiful artwork in here. It's just absolutely stunning. Really want to get my hands on that Hoopa. I mean, just look at these, man. Uh, that Garchomp. Garchomp. One of my top, one of my top chases right now. I uh, definitely want the Iron Valiant and the Roaring Moon. I have a feeling the Roaring Moon is probably going to be the top chase out of this. Um, I got to check. I'm going to check before I finish this, but yeah. And then here are the golds. So yeah, this is going to be a really fun set. Let me take a quick look and see what the top chase cards are right now. All right. It looks like at the time of this filming, the Mila is currently the top pre-sale item. Um, I'm actually filming this a day before because my stuff came in a day early. Um, but... Yeah, so I think that that's probably a top chase right now. There's also the Gold Dango that is also a top chase um, pre-sale item. So I'll go with, you know, I don't really care about the Gold Dango at the moment. I think I'm going to do Roaring Moon. So I'll do Mela as my top chase, Roaring Moon, and, and Garchomp. I'll do the Garchomp as well. So those will be my top chases right now. So let me know in the comments what your top chase is in this set so far. I'm going to do the five card trick to keep this going. There you go. Three, four, five. Now I heard, I've heard the uh, pull rates out of this are really tough. So we'll see what we can get. We get a surf kit and we start off, we start off, you know, swinging with a Garbodor EX. Sorry, not our Garbodor EX. An Illustrator, beautiful looking card. Nice centering on it. I'll take that. This was one of the first one. Um, this is one of the most recent um, showings for our uh, leaks, I should say. So nice looking card. I'll take that. So that was a nice hit. I'll take that. There you go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five to the front. And. I'm gonna be interested to see. Oh, hey, look, we got our first, our first um, paradox. We got a future Iron Moth. That's really, I really like that. That's such a cool looking reverse hollow. I'll take that. 
We got a Wug Trio and a Porygon Z. So nothing crazy out of those. As I'm kind of cleaning up a little bit. I'm trying to at least. I'm trying to keep everything as tidy as I can in this. Because it's always... Always tough. There you go. It's always tough to kind of keep things clean. But I'm really excited for this set. I think this is going to be a fun set. Um, this is definitely their most ambitious set. Reverse Hollow, Tenemouse, Snorlax, Doll, Milotic. Nothing crazy in that. That's all right. We're not going to get, you know, all the top hits right off the bat, right? We're going to have to go chase them for them. Five. That's why they call them chase, chase cards. But I'm, I'm excited. And it's cool to see Minior actually get some love in this, too. We got a Famigo. And we're pulling the Roaring Moon EX Gold card right off the bat. Not ideal centering on it. But still really nice. I mean, actually, the centering's not awful. It's a little, it looks like it might be a little bit crooked, though. It's like a little, a little crooked, but still beautiful. I'll take that. Look at that. Starting off strong. Cool. So we just got two really nice hits. We got that Gar Garbodor and the um, Roaring Moon EX Gold Secret Rare. So I'll take that. We got a, Gar a Gibble Reverse Hollow, Snorlax Doll Reverse Hollow, and a Ting Lu Hollow Rare, so nothing in there. Yeah, this is going to be a fun set. This is going to be a tough set for people to finish, though. Um, I don't see this being... I don't see this being, like, uh, Evolving Skies difficult, but it's still going to be a tough card. It's still going to be a tough set. Tough, tough set to be able to get your hands on, because there's just so many secret rares that are going to cause... The pricing on this to probably go up enough that it's going to be difficult to pull. Hey, we got a Screamtail Reverse Hollow and a Hollow Rare Close Pot. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this set. There's definitely going to be some cool cards in this. Um, I think this is probably going to. I don't know if this has enough legs to beat out. Um, to beat out 151 as the top set right now, but it's definitely a fun set. I mean, just looking at some of these. Hey, there we go. We pulled another secret rare. We pulled the Iron Hand EX. I mean, look at that. That is just such a cool looking pattern on that. Perfectly centered. Look at that, man. I'm killing it today. Look at that. That's awesome. So far, we're looking at a, we're actually at that 33% hit rate right now. If we can kind of continue that, I think that that's solid for these kinds of sets, the standard sets at least, uh, particularly in Scarlet Violet. Um, oh, by the way, you guys check that out. Mewtwo, got that Mewtwo Pearlescent Funko that came in recently, finally. Got a Pan Sage, take a ton of Reverse Hollow. Hey, there we go, we got a Frost Lass. EX. There we go. That's our fourth hit. Very nice. Cool looking card. I'll take it. So that is four hits. Count them. Four hits. And a pearlescent U2 Funko. I mean, that's 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 probably the big ticket. <laughs> that's my favorite part. Uh, that recently came in finally. Um, I did not get the... Pikachu with Grey Felt Hat promo, unfortunately, in my order, which I'm very sad about, but oh well, it happens. Nothing in that one, which I'm not surprised I didn't get anything out of that. I think, I think four out of, you know, four out of nine, pretty good. Pretty good for this. We're moving on to the second ETB. Now, personally, I think Roaring Moon is cooler than Iron Valiant. Not gonna lie, but... I did like, I did like Iron Valiant. We got Future Booster Energy, that's cool. Tenemouse. Hey, Zekrom getting, getting some love in this set. Always nice to see Zekrom get some love. I'd love to see them come out with like a nice Zekrom and Reshiram card. 
It's been a while. We haven't had a nice one of that set, I think, since Cosmic Eclipse when they had the tag team with N. I don't know if you guys remember that remember that set, but we got Elkid, Dodonzo, and Porgon Z. Nothing crazy out of that one. But yeah, I, I'm hoping to see them kind of feature more legendaries as we go along. Um, they're always, you know, there's gonna at some point we're probably gonna get a Lugia set. Uh, I'd like to see Ho Oh get some more love. I'd like to like to see the uh, legendary, both the legendary bird and the legendary dog trios get some more love. There, there's plenty of sets, or plenty, plenty of Pokemon I'd like to see get some more love out of this. Nothing out of those, but it'll be it'll be cool to see. See what happens in the future. Um, but this is this. I, I really, I really like what Pokemon has been doing in the TGC game lately. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, and I'm, I'm. Let me start over. I like what Pokemon is doing TGC wise. So, like the design of the TGC, the sets that are coming out. I like the design. Of the, hey, and there we go. We get a Tapu Coco EX. Very nice. I'll take that. But I've I've really enjoyed seeing what they're getting out of these out of these sets, uh, or what they're kind of coming up with for the sets. Because I mean, let's be real here. Some of the sets that started, you know, that started Sword and Shield, like uh, Rebel Clash and. Darkness Blaze were not great sets. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, Scarlet and Violet, Poly Evolve weren't great sets. If you look in perspective, you compare Sword and Shield base set, Scarlet and Violet base set, which would you prefer? I would definitely, hands down, take the Scarlet and Violet base set over Sword and Shield base set. Now, I just, I think that the artwork is better. It's more ambitious. And I feel like they're truly building things. If you look at the first four sets in Scarlet and Violet, they knock Sword and Shields out of the park. They, they're not even in the same category. Now, how things will change once Altar stuff comes out, I don't know. But I have a feeling Pokemon has something else up their sleeve that'll make it worthwhile. And we get a Toxtricity EX Terra. Very nice. I will take that. That's another nice hit. <laughs> we didn't get quite the same category hit so far as we did the first box, but still very nice. That's still two hits. Let's move on. We got three packs left. Don't forget to slam that like button if you haven't done already. Give me a little bit of luck. And if you haven't checked out, check out some of my other videos. I got some release videos coming out. Not sure if any of you have picked up the Gyarados EX Premium Collection that actually came out. Um, it's actually coming out on November 3rd with the official release of Paradox Rift. It's a GameStop exclusive. You're going to want to look for that at your local GameStop. Nothing out of that pack. But definitely some cool cards. Definitely some cool stuff coming in the future. I'm I'm looking forward to see what Pokemon has up their sleeves. They they're not ones to really rest on their laurels. They tend to have a new kind of release coming out every every like five ish sets. They tend to have something new kind of come out. So you had battle styles, right? So you had the first four sets kind of release along with the special sets. Then you had battle styles release. Um, alternate arts, as well as a new game mechanic. Then you had, um, I think it was with nine. So I think that that was brilliant stars. They came out with the trainer gallery. So they do tend to try to keep adding things to entice people to stay in the hobby. So I could definitely see them, you know, trying to release something new and interesting to keep people going now this is the last pack magic so let's see what we can pull out of this make sure you slap that like that like button smack it press it whatever you want to do twist it i don't know bop it style um i'm gonna do the one card trick out of this just just to make it fun it's been a while since so i've done the one card trick we got 
Darkness Energy, Blitzel, Bound Sweet, we got Feebas, we got Apom, Zipstrika, Crocolor, and Bipom. Alright, we we're at our reverse hall slot. We got a Knackle Stack. We got Gliger. Make sure you smack that like button. And we got a Latios. Pretty cool to see Latios get some love in this. But nothing in that one. Now, I did end up with six total rares. So this did kind of average a 33% hit rate, which that's fine. Um, I do like the promos. Promos are beautiful. I would have preferred to have a, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're fine. I think they're good. Two good promos. Um, ended up getting a Toxtricity EX, Tapu Koko, a Frostlass, an Iron Hands EX, Roaring Moon Gold Secret Rare, and a Garbodor. So I ended up with six, six hits out of this. Pretty nice. Um, I'm looking at this set. I can't wait to see what else comes out. I'm going to give this ETB. I like the set. I like the promos. I think the promo coming out of these. Honestly, I think it's better than Scarlet and Violet base. Compared to, Obsid I like the Obsidian Flames one better though. I don't know. I think it's pretty standard. There's nothing particularly special about it. So I think it's a, I think it's a seven standard hit rate, everything like that. So really liked it. This was a lot of fun. Make sure you stay tuned. We have booster boxes coming up. We have, uh, I'm going to try to get my hands on the blisters as well. I have still have to do an Alakazam EX box from 151. And there's tons of other cool things that are going to be coming up that I'm going to be posting pretty soon. So stay tuned, guys. I will see you guys next time.